Well, in this video, I'm telling you which one you guys should do if you want to get yourself good gear fast and be able to do the other one quicker. So which is better to do, the arena or the bounty board? As we all know, PUBG has done some major updates in-game which are bringing in the arena. Now, you guys may be wondering, where is this video going? Well, the thing is, which is better to do, the arena or the bounty board? Which one takes less time to get and which one is the better option? First of all, we have ourselves the bounty board, right? From the bounty board, you guys can see we get ourselves quests every day for things which we need to do. Now over here, as you guys can see, you can accept bounties. On some days, you will get bounties of 1-1-1 one, one, one on each thing. Sometimes you get bounties of 2 and 5 as well. I'm pretty sure there's a bounty of 3 as well. Now you guys can see the bounties of 2 and 3 and 5 are actually off limits. So what I'm going to do for this is let's suppose that you're a non-member and you can only take 2 bounties per day, right? So that means that you need yourselves approximately 100 bounties in order to get the highest tier rewards from bounty. If you open up the bounty board, what you guys will see is to get the decent armor sets, you guys will see we only need to get ourselves 50 bounty points. That is so much less compared to the other ones. Like, you have yourselves 100, 50, 20, and 5. Now this is probably one of the best um, points for it, because suppose you're only doing 2 battles a day, this will take you less than a month to get yourself everything needed to get this armor, right? You Hurt yourselves right, you only need to do the bounty board approximately 25 times to get yourself this type of armor, which is not too bad because it, suppose each battle takes approximately two or three minutes, that's still 75 minutes at maximum, at minimum, only 25 minutes if you just one shot your opponent using the giant attack. And the giant attack, which I'm talking about, is well, basically your all out attack. So, you guys can see you can get yourself this healing bonus eight armor in basically just 25 days. Now let's take a look at the arena quickly. Right, you guys will see if we go into the arena, they have three tiers of reward. The first tier, if you look over here, gives us only six hard bonus type armor. The second one over here gives us eight hard bonus, and the last one over here gives us a hard bonus of ten. Now, obviously, if you're looking for higher hard bonus, I'd recommend you guys do the arena, but the thing is, if you just want, like, the second best armor in the game, like, you need it immediately to make your wizard stronger, what I'd recommend is, well, let's look over here, right? So, to get the entire set, what you guys will need to do is, you will need to do approximately 20, you will need to get yourself approximately 25,000 arena points. Now let's look at our, now let's look at the battle list quickly, right? Each battle gives us 15 rewards, let's quickly calculate that. If we do the math, that tells us that we need to do approximately 167 arena battles to get ourselves enough, enough battle points to get to level to get to 2,500 points, which is already an insane amount of battles considering that the arena battles take 3 to 4 times longer than normal, right? So let's put one arena battle at 3 minutes, and let's see how much time that is. 8.3 hours, you'd have to spend 8.3 hours of work at bare minimum, the bare minimum 8.3 hours of work to get to rank 25. Now the thing is, arena battles are not smooth. Like, you have some arena battles where your opponents take zero damage and have quadrillions of health bars. And you're just there like, okay, this will probably take us five minutes, right? So you guys can see, already doing the arena would take you longer in a time perspective to get the same amount of rewards. And not only that, but the arena, you don't get the rewards immediately. You have to wait until the arena ends to get your rewards. To get your rewards. As you guys can see, if I check over here, you guys can see I haven't gotten the arena reward for the silver tier yet. Right, you guys can see I do have myself a sandwich cap and a popcorn bucket. Well, that is because I actually managed to, like, reach that rank. But other than that, the other area's rewards, which are two come right now, you don't get. So that means you'd have to wait over a hundred days for your reward of your hard work to come out. Now, a hundred days, that's so... That's... In a hundred days, you could complete the entirety of your bounty quest, right? You only need one-fourth of those days in order to get yourself enough gold and um, ba bounty points in order to unlock the healthier 8 armor. So that means that the bounty board is the better option over here because not only is it relevant, but you can also get your stuff way easier. Like, why would you spend 8.35 hours on something when you can spend, like, I don't know, 25 minutes? 
That's a huge time difference. Like, use the arena. It's, like, use the bounty board. It's still, what do you call it? Uh, what is the word called? Ah, uh, yes, the bounty board is still relevant. Use it, people. Use the bounty board. Although, I, I don't recommend going to 100 bounties unless you want the achievement. Because, you know, these wands, they're not too powerful. They're kind of like, meh. The wands are kind of meh. In game, just not gonna lie, they are kind of meh. Another way to get yourself, um, what do you call it? Level 8 or power bonus 8 armor would be by, well, getting the Dragonox set. And you're wondering, how do I do that? Well, here's how. During Summerfest, what you guys notice is that for Sand Alders, you can trade them in for Dragonox gear. Just do that, and you'll get yourself easy level 8 armor. And it will only take you maybe 32 days, well, they're not 32 days in a month, 8, uh, eight times 4, yeah, about 32. Well, you might have to do 10 or a few battles, but if you battle one monster from Lampite Town every day and get yourself 10 sand dollars, you should still be able to afford your Dragon Ox gear. So it doesn't require too much sweat, but you will have to wait until Summerfest, and you'll have to take approximately a break of 32 days, when in Prodigy, it'll, well, the Bounty Board will only take you 25. So conclusion is that the Bounty Board is the better option, yes, definitely. Get your strong gear from the bounty board first, and then go to the other places if you're collecting. So yeah guys, I hope you guys found this video informational and figured out, hum, the bounty board might actually be a better choice than battling in the arena for the same health gear armor. Now of course if you're going for the higher armor, well then the arena is the only way to get it, but to be honest I'd only complete the arena once and then use the gear like permanently because it takes so long. I mean, better than doing, like, that mu those many battles, you could just do something else. But yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Please make sure to destroy that subscribe button, give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I'll be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye!